Good day everybody, my name is Mitch and today we are going to go through the Bench Industries Mobile Market Grain Cleaner. You'll notice this grain cleaner looks a lot like the more common Bench Industries full-size portable grain cleaner, but there's a few differences to notice. One is that it has nine screens instead of six screens. So these screens are 36 inches long by 54 inches wide and there's three of them on the top three of them in the middle and three of them on the bottom. This allows us additional capacity for doing any sort of high capacity market cleaning. So we're going to notice this cleaner has a complete electrical panel exactly like the bench full size cleaner. I really like this panel because it has variable frequency drives incorporated in it which gives us the versatility to speed up and slow down different parts of the cleaner. It is pre-wired with different clean grain auger and discharge auger electrical ports. So we plug the panel in which gives the panel power and then on the panel we have a clean grain as well as a discharge auger where we can speed up and slow down with the variable frequency drives. On this electrical panel we have the fan switch to turn the fan and the cleaner on and we can speed that up and slow it down with variable frequency drive. We have the clean grain auger as I just mentioned where we can speed that up and slow it down. We have the machine which you cannot speed up or slow down with the frequency drive. It runs at the same speed but we can turn it on and turn it off from the panel as well as there's a cross auger which pulls our screenings to the side that I'll show you in the back. So again when comparing this to the bench full size cleaner we're going to notice it's longer it does still have a cyclone where we capture all of the light and fine debris that we pull off with the air system. But the biggest difference when looking at the market cleaner to the full size cleaner is how it comes out the back. So typically on the bench full size grain cleaner, there's an air chamber right here which gives us a final air cleaning that we can pull any final debris off that's in the cleaner. If we look at the different discharges on the back here, this is where we get all the versatility in the bench market cleaner. So the grain that comes off the top deck, which is our scalping deck, anything that comes out the back here is going to be the largest material, often pods or any sort of big scalping material. This middle discharge is coming off of the middle deck, which we call the grading deck. And then this bottom discharge is coming off the smallest deck, which is the bottom sifting deck. Take a look here, there's a cross auger which is going to pull off the smallest material that falls off of the smallest screen on the bottom. This is typically going to be screenings. When we move over here, you're going to notice another discharge. This is typically going to be a screenings discharge as well, as this is where the debris that we pull off with the pre-air or the initial air that pulls off on the front of the shaking shoe, this is where it's going to come and settle and then this cross auger is going to put it out here. So typically this is where your screenings are going to be discharging from. If you take a look right here, you're going to notice this is the plug where the intake auger is and this is controlled with the electrical panel. So you can have your augers, electric augers pre-wired up so that when you hook them up to the cleaner, all of the power goes through the main electrical panel on the front. The way this grain cleaner works is pretty simple. The grain goes in the hopper above. From there, we adjust the speed of the cleaner, essentially by allowing more or less grain to go from the hopper onto the shaking deck. So when the grain comes from this hopper onto this initial deck, there is the pre-air or the initial air. This is where it starts to suck any light material or foreign debris that makes its way into the cleaner before it actually goes through the cleaner. There's nine screens total, three on each level. These are very easily changeable. And what you'll notice is underneath the screens, we actually have ball racks. What this is designed is these balls, they bounce up and down between the screen as the shoe is moving to keep the screen clean of any grain that sticks in there. One really cool thing that this cleaner can do from a versatility standpoint is we can put a splitting tray on here where the top deck, traditionally the scalping deck, and the bottom deck, traditionally the sifting deck, clean the same way and the middle deck becomes a blank where we split it. 
This allows us to clean at a higher capacity, essentially twice as fast, because we are doing one stage of separation with two different decks in the cleaner. The Bench Industries Market Grain Cleaner was designed as a high capacity alternative to give more versatility when cleaning. This machine surely stands out when we do different sizing variations like removing thins from malt barley or sizing pulses like chickpeas as well as separating grains in different intercropping scenarios like peas and canola. There are many benefits to cleaning your own grain. These include controlling the amount of dockage you have and what you do with your dockage at the end of the day. There's also a convenience factor of being able to clean your own grain on your own schedule and mitigate any contamination risks you might have. For more information on the Bench Market Cleaner or any other grain cleaner, please give your local Flamin dealership a call.